Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought since I want to remove makeup and we have this, I thought I'm going to try to do a first impression video uh, for you guys today. This is the... Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> is it Hada Labo? Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. Hada Labo just recently emailed me and say that they are sending me a package but I wasn't sure what was it and then when the package came, it is this one. Basically, this is the new... I don't know, is it new? Or is it has been already on the market but they recently just sent me this so it is written new lah but most probably it's already out on like Watson's or Guardian and stuff like that it's probably just me being late trying this out this is the Hadalabo 3-in-1 micellar cleansing water me I love cleansing water I love like the Garnier new oil mix kind of cleansing water but I have issues with cleansing water sometimes I feel like cleansing water itself doesn't really help me to remove like have waterproof makeup i understand you know cleansing water it's not meant for you to remove those like required oil based kind of remover to remove those kind of waterproof makeup i understand because they are cleansing water at the end of the day all right i don't expect them to like work as well as a oil makeup remover but if they do i will be very impressed a lot of uh, cleansing water these days they really do like big claims saying that you know we can remove waterproof tough waterproof makeup we can remove those makeup that requires oil removal but we are just water you know kind of thing a lot of cleansing water does this kind of claim these days so including this as well this is not any different this one is states that it effectively removes waterproof makeup cleanse hydrate and anti-pollution low irritation no rinsing required a lot of other micellar water actually do this kind of claim as well so i just want to see how well does this work i think the cool part that i first opened it up i kind of saw that this is somewhat in a pump form because the cap is really big for a usual normal pour out kind of uh, situation looking at the straw inside there it does look like it is like a pump pump which is what intrigues me i've never had like any micellar water that is currently in my oh my god i have lipstick on here i don't have any current micellar water that is on my vanity desk right now that is in a pump form and i love anything that's pump form so it's easier for me that i don't have to like keep trying to pour it out i guess in a way we can say that all micellar water have somewhat this kind of branding towards it where it is amazing as a cleansing substitute in a way if you don't have water to use water salt shortages you know it's good to use micellar water to somewhat clean your face if you need a alternative cleanse gently it's able to lift away waterproof makeup and dirt it has low irritation suitable to apply around the eyes and lips area we're gonna see about that apparently triple anti-pollution formula which kind of protects the skin against environmental pollution reduces the ability of polluted particles to adhere to the skin free of fragrance free of coloring no alcohol no mineral oil that's great great part of this i don't even need the scissors for this Ding. <laughs> one point to hada labo i've been having like a harry potter kind of marathon craze i did when and watch the first three episodes not episodes first three what do you call it? series already the, the harry potter series the movie i've already watched the first three movie currently taking a break from uh from harry potter and moving on to like korean drama korean series korean dramas it's a huge bottle to be honest 380 ml pretty huge bottle cap itself is like this i kind of expected which is something like this pump because i have a pump that is similar to this kind of concept where it pumps down this guy which i'll show you later i have have it in my nail polish that one was also an amazing discovery i was like oh my god i want this i want this kind of pump for my nail polish remover because it just makes things so much easier okay and seriously all this kind of pump really makes things so much so 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 much easier okay only thing is that you can't travel with this lab yeah that's the only downside because of how big this is this is meant for you to put on your vanity desk all right you want to travel with it just go and use some cleansing wipes or something like that put the pad on top of uh, the pump area Ooh, already first pump it worked okay so i don't need to oh i don't need to keep pumping the only danger of this is that if you don't pump like you don't really cover it properly it will just kind of splatter out <laughs> this kind of pump still is amazing okay we're gonna do two cotton pads all right i'm gonna pump the other one as well wow i love it cotton pad just soaks everything up once you pump it out it just soaks everything up i love love it two here we're gonna start with the face actually first not the eyes. Usually people just start with the eyes first, alright, but I, I like to... This is how I normally will do it off camera. I just like to go over my face first. 
because once you go over your eye already you can't really go over your face because you don't want all the mascara all sticking on your face right but what if you go over your face first you can still go back into the eye because it's just foundation on there it's not gonna make all the stains from mascara to go all over your face as compared to removing all the foundation first and then go over your eye i prefer this method it's just cleaner this way i think it dries up quite fast which is weird i'm gonna pump it out some more onto the same cotton pad i literally just pump one pump each side and use the back of the cotton pad the cleaner side okay and go over the eye leave it there for a while because i do have my favorite mascara on which is the maybelline lash paradise is it no 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 l'oreal lash paradise not maybelline <sighs> i tell you that mascara right it's pain it has to find okay i go into like at least four watsons and i think three guardian can't find them all of them are sold out it's ridiculous literally that space for that mascara that lash paradise mascara it's all gone and I think it's about time for me to change that, that mascara already because it has been I believe 3 months already so I'm just gonna push it to 6 months and see how I mean it still works fine, it didn't itch just my eye or anything It seems like it's actually removing my mascara as well Quite interesting so I'm going to use the foundation side, this is what I meant Like after you kind of remove all your mascara, then you want like a cleaner side to kind of clean your eyes again Then I can use the foundation side to kind of clean my eyes and Then we're going to go over the brows as well Did it remove all my mascara? Oh my gosh, it kind of did Okay, not really, not 100% fully I probably got to pump out another pump just to make sure that it's fully 100% being removed Okay, so I'm going to use the other cotton pad that's already dirty but the other side which is the foundation side and try to wipe it again It didn't sting my eye or even cloud my contact lens That is great And it really... Wow, okay, quite interesting This really removes all my like mascara and... My waterproof mascara, or one of my favorite mascara on earth, and that is one of the toughest to remove. Usually, even oil remover kind of sometimes have a little bit of a tough time to remove that. But this one does remove it quite well without even irritating my eye or anything. Wow, that's really interesting. I'm just gonna use whichever clean side and just remove my lipstick. This is not any liquid lipstick, okay? This is just a regular, most classic kind of creamy lipstick that I am currently quite obsessed with it's a vase lipstick I kind of recorded a video earlier on about the vase lipstick I don't know if the video review is going to be up after this video or even before this video I'm not quite sure if it's before I will link the information down in the description box below if you are interested wow <laughs> I am quite surprised it removed all my makeup without like any issue, it didn't sting my eye, it didn't go into my eye, nothing went into my eye, and it removed waterproof makeup, waterproof mascara. Let me test it out again. Yeah, it really removes everything. I really feel super refreshed right now, and like my skin doesn't feel too dry also. It does feel like it is somewhat being hydrated by this, this thing, <laughs> this micellar cleansing water, which is very interesting. Oh my gosh, that is just so weird. I'm gonna do one more, one last swipe with a clean cotton pad, alright? Just to make sure that I do not have any other residue left over uh, like underneath here on my face and stuff like that because I didn't go underneath down there. And because I was using glitters on my eyes earlier on, so usually glitters will kind of go everywhere. It's a disease, glitter disease. It's crazy. So I need to make sure that I really thoroughly clean my face. And just to make sure it is fully clean because I don't plan to kind of I don't plan to wash my face after this. It's afternoon right now. I'm probably going to take an afternoon nap, and then after that I'm just gonna wake up and start like editing videos. Or even after this, I might go and edit videos really. So 
Yeah, probably not gonna wash my face. It doesn't feel like I need to wash my face. It is quite refreshing and it's moisturizing at the same time. I don't even need to go and apply like moisturizer after this. This is crazy, okay? You can tell from the camera itself, my skin looks glowy and I didn't apply any like moisturizer or anything. It's just me after wiping off with this cleansing water. It's so glowing lah, seriously, my gosh. I don't feel it's drying. It does feel like it's moisturized and hydrated and it's as if I've applied somewhat of a light skincare on my face. It's crazy. Very much impressed by this. This is gonna be on my vanity desk for sure. I'm gonna remove all my other micellar water already. 100% recommend this if you're interested to buy like a micellar water, try this out. Um, anyone out there, dry skin, oily skin type, you need this man. Seriously. Good job Hada Labo. Very very interesting. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!